Hi guys, thank you for joining us today. My name is Aisha and we are in the All Recipes Headquarter Kitchen today in Seattle. And we are joined by the lovely food blogger, Holly Haynes, the culinary talent behind from my impossibly tiny kitchen and super tiny kitchen. And she is gonna be talking all things brunch worthy with Benedict's with friends. Friends with Benedict. Friends with Sorry. Benedict. Friends with Benedict. <laughs> or the other way around. We haven't, been, we haven't had mimosas yet, I promise. Yeah. Um, Holly. So, thank you for being here. I thank you for having me. Um, I love hosting brunch. I hate being in the kitchen the whole time. So we're going to show you a few different bases, a few different sauces, and a few different eggs you can prepare ahead of time so you can have a DIY Friends with Benedict's brunch bar and not have to worry about being in the kitchen and like not interacting with your guests. Yeah, I think that's a downside. You want to host a great brunch, but if you have more than two or three people, you feel like you're tied to the kitchen and you right. can't really entertain. So we're going to show you how to prep everything mm -hmm. and give people all the options, even your picky eaters or the gluten-free, dairy-free, uh, vegan. Ovo, vegetarian homies. Yeah. They everything. have options. Everyone has options, and I'm excited. You can feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments. We'll be monitoring it mm -hmm. the entire show. And all of these recipes will be available online um, at the Dish blog, so you can feel free to try it this weekend. Ready to get started? Yes. So, first egg. Uh, it's called an Arzac egg. So what you're going to do is you have a piece of plastic wrap. We're gonna just going to oil it a little bit. You got go it? Go ahead, throw a little oil on there. Basically, this is for people who are scared to poach eggs, but want poached eggs. So this is a really simple way to have a nice little package. So go that. ahead and crack the egg in there. I love a Benedict, but I've always been scared to poach an egg at home. Everyone is scared of poaching. It eggs. feels like too much work, so then I just am like, okay, I'm gonna make a scramble or right. an omelet. I am also <laughs> scared of poached eggs. Go ahead and season that with like some salt and pepper. Put some salt and pepper right over there. So basically what we're gonna do is we have a pot of water that we brought to a boil, um, and now it's turned down so it's simmering. I'm gonna tie the string to a little ladle and drop that into the simmering water. It takes about four minutes, four and a half minutes. Basically, you just want the whites to be set and the yolks to be a little bit runny. So we'll just tie that onto there. How are you doing? I'm, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you guys, you this is my first time doing it. So yeah, the that's struggle, perfect. The struggle's kind of that's real, perfect. but. Give it a little twist and then if, you can even have your friends help you with this part of the DIY Benedict process, really, because eggs cook so fast that you're not going to be in the kitchen for 45 minutes making eggs. It's really just four minutes. This so. looks perfect. If you don't have a wooden one, can you can you use, use anything? anything. You can use a chopstick, really. Anything that won't burn. Right. So really, you just want to make sure that the bottoms of the plastic isn't touching the bottom of the pot. That's what the ladle is for, just to hold the eggs in the water but not touching the bottom. So let me set a timer real quick. Let's set a timer so we don't burn anything. Yeah. And what I like about this is that we're really inspiring people to try cooking things outside <laughs> of their comfort zone at home. This is my first time doing it, so we have a pro. And then I'm like you, I don't know what I'm doing. So she's guiding me. But so far it's good. So far so good. We let's got the eggs going. Out. So let's make some sauces. Sauces. Hollandaise is also a scary thing for people. Uh, hot butter, raw egg yolks, it's, and the possibility of breakage and heat and temperature, and it's just scary. So these aren't true hollandaise sauces, they're like hollandaise adjacent, like yeah. hollandaise is uh, easy cousin. Follandaise. Follandaise, if you will. Hollandaise light. Yeah, so let's start with the avocado hollandaise. This will awesome. be for your vegan, vegetarian homies. So take that, scoop that into there. I'm gonna get you some hot water. And we love avocados um, around this office, and I'm sure you guys love them too at home. So this is a pretty big one. So if you don't have one this size, would you take maybe, maybe like yeah, two small two ones. small ones too? Like half a big one. So you're just gonna mix that with a little bit of hot water and make a nice little puree. So and I use a stick blender. Okay, this is also my first time using a stick blender, so really? I don't know if anyone else. <laughs> Is new to this too, guys. Let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, so, uh, go ahead and put it in first and then turn it on. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be a big mess. Oh, there this is go. not bad. There you go. Up and down. Good, nice little puree. Perfect. Now we're going to add Ooh. in some lemon juice. 
go ahead and mix that in. Eggs Is that are about looking good? good. Should I do it a little more? Looks pretty good Yeah, to that's me. a nice consistency. Go ahead and give it a taste and then season with salt and pepper. I'll take that. Thank you. It should be pretty citrusy, really rich from the avocado. Yeah, it's good. Give it a little salt and pepper. I think it probably needs some salt and pepper. And that's your avocado hollandaise. Super easy. Not really a hollandaise. If you don't have a hand mixer, could you substitute that for anything? If you, a blender would work. Um, a ninja, a bullet, any kind of a food processor, really. So um, I do have a Nutribullet at home, so oh, that could be, be one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead and uh, throw that in the one of the little gravy boats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fan Look how fancy these are, you guys. Yeah. Um, if you don't have this at your home, don't <laughs> worry. But if you want to impress a your friends. A bowl is fine. But a gravy boat full of hollandaise, like, what's not to love? It's also a little hipster, I think, to keep it in this. In the that could be nice, you too. Are, you are correct. Here, I'll take that. Thanks. I love that you <laughs> clean as we go. I, I don't can't. do that. Okay, so my kitchen is so small that if I don't clean as I go, I literally just can't do anything. My kitchen's small, and I don't clean as I go. <laughs> Ma'am, my mom would love you. This is this is. I know I can't. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even do it. Okay, so next sauce, mascarpone hollandaise. Same principle, not using uh, hot butter, but using mascarpone cheese in place of the fat. Okay. That would usually be better. I've never had this type of cheese before. Is but it I mascarpone? Love it. I always keep like a tub of mascarpone in my fridge. You can literally put it on anything. How long does it last? A, a while. It's like cream. It's Italian cream cheese. Oh, so. perfect. Fancy. So like mascarpone, it. a couple of egg yolks. Um, if raw egg yolks freak you out, by all means, leave it out. I like the flavor, so whatever. It's fine for me. I feel like egg yolks and egg porn is trending lately. Yeah. So most people, you know, if you've been scared of an egg before, I think <laughs> you should definitely try it. I'm pretty sure we have some good posts on our blog about yeah. egg porn. Uh, lemon juice. Oh, I guess me. <laughs> or you. Oh, no, that's me. Hi. <laughs> Is she your Sorry. sister? She doesn't know. Um, <laughs> so, just throw that in the bullet. I, can, I know how to do this we one. You can do this part? Yeah. I have this one at home. <laughs> Does it need to be thinned out a little bit? Maybe. Maybe we'll just add a little water. Yeah. Okay, we'll just add a little bit of water. There you go. Help it out. There we go. Perfect. All right, eggs done. Oh, she's got about 30 seconds. Oh, look at that. The timer Your, went your spidey senses are on today. Only with eggs. So I think they need a couple more minutes. The whites aren't totally set. So maybe just like 30 more seconds. I'm just going by feel here. How's that looking? This looks pretty good to me. So very beautiful. Oh, yeah. A great consistency. So that's a nice little mascarpone hollandaise. Let's throw that in here. The third sauce I'm going to show you is a Chipotle hollandaise. Again, Folandaise, hollandaise adjacent. And really all it is is this mascarpone sauce. And all we're going to do is add a Chipotle pepper. I'm really impressed with how Boom. easy these are to make because the yeah. most I've done is walk by like a hollandaise sauce packet in the grocery <laughs> store. But I felt a little too bootleg to get it. I'm like, oh, what's so this going to taste like? Right. You know, it just seems intimidating. But I feel like these are things that we can all do easily. Yeah. So just throw the lid back on there. And we have a whole new sauce just like that. Boom. How are the eggs doing? Oh, we're close. It's getting there. Hmm? Oh, spoon down. <laughs> We're good. Crisis averted. This one looks really good, too. Nice. That's pretty. I have some really picky friends, and I think some of them just love options. So yeah. this is the most bang for your buck. If you saw, we took half of the sauce that we had already made and then just added another ingredient. Right. And, and now you have a whole other sauce. Another option. A delicious chipotle sauce. Yeah. Now, if you wanted the chipotle sauce to be vegan, vegetarian friendly, you could double the avocado hollandaise and add the chipotle. It's basically, just add a chipotle to either of the sauces and you have a whole new sauce. This Boom. really good. Are we done with this one? Yeah, we're done. Throw that. So, I think the eggs are almost there. Um, part of this Friends with Benedict's theme is really horrible food puns. So the first one is uh, kimchi Kardashian. 
I'm so sorry. We all love Kim, Kimmy Cake, so Kimchi <laughs> Kardashians. Yes. Let's make it. So go ahead and grab a plate. So what, this is the fun part. What base do you want? You can choose an English muffin, a biscuit. I'm gonna go with English muffin. Uh, cool. So you can top that with some kimchi. Sorry, you just the jar. Oh, I'm like, where is it? So we just have some toasted, buttered English muffins. Uh, as soon as these eggs are done, yep. Let me grab a dish for those. A oh, spoon. Are there any tips for storing kimchi? I've uh, heard people sometimes have issues with just how strong it can be, so I don't yeah. know if you Airtight can- Airtight containers, that I, should be I good. usually haven't had a problem with. Um, yeah. So along with kimchi Kardashian, we have Kanye eggs and ham. Of course. <laughs> What's Kanye without Kim? Really? Kanye eggs and ham. So let's uh, grab a plate and a biscuit. The base of the Kanye eggs and ham is going to be the biscuit. I tied this way too tight. That's like military grade knotting those scissors. scissors. Right oh, here. there they are. Thanks. Wait, the correct way to pass oh, scissors. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not run with Everyone them. went to elementary school, right? <laughs> right. So here's the Arzac egg. That's, that was great. So how did you know it was done other than setting the timer? So, and just feeling it. Like I can, f you can feel that the whites are set. Yeah. Where earlier it was just soft, but yeah. now you can feel that the whites are actually cooked. That's that really fun? cool. Yeah. That's way better than like struggling with how to like keep right. turning it right. and doing everything right. for like a true poached egg. It's just all little compact and easy to, easy to do. So what's my next thing that I'm going to be putting is going on this on, one? Uh, we're going to put the egg on top of that. You can put kimchi on that one too. Go, go hard? Yeah, <laughs> go hard to go home, really. I'm just gonna uh, pop these eggs open, just gonna cut off the plastic. There you go. Yes. I'm gonna pop this egg on top. And what I think is kind of cool is that if you have the counter space, you can just set everything up. And as you see, most of this is prepped already. Right. So your friends come over, you have them, you know, have a drink, and then they can get to plating their own food. And isn't that really like, why put all the work on yourself, really? So there's the first Arzac egg. This is beautiful. And they come out super cute, right? What is this, the green? Th I there? just put some chives in there. So when so you're, uh, when you're like putting it. the seasoning in, you can also add in any herbs or spices that you might like. So these are just salt and pepper and a little bit of chives. This so for the so cognacs nice. and ham, we have prosciutto and actual uh, ham yeah so whatever you want on your biscuit well I absolutely love ham I love just bacon anything so yeah I'm gonna double up you could also throw some bacon and throw some bacon on that second one we should add, let's yeah add bacon I mean because bacon is just like ham bacon adjacent. is life <laughs> bacon's everything it's ham's homie really let's see her oh god I'm starting to feel bad like making this right now. why <laughs> like, so indulgent because I'm also adding more Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Put it on the other side. Perf. You can even add some vegetables. So we have like spinach and tomatoes. Oh yeah, there's vegetables too, guys. I <laughs> forgot about the vegetables. If you if you don't want to just go, you know, the meat lover's dream, there are some beautiful veggies you can add. Or you could go all meat. I mean, really, I'm not going to judge you. Boom. Let's garnish it with some stuff. So what kind of sauce you want to add? Let's throw the, oh, egg down. Let's throw the mascarpone. Yeah, let's do on this. A do we have a spoon? Or I guess I could just you drizzle just it. Pour it. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. On this one. Maybe we should spoon it. She's a little thick. Boom. <laughs> oh, the yolk busted. Yolk down. That's okay. That's okay. I, this, I mean, you guys, the yolk is down, but imagine how <laughs> great of an Instagram picture that would make. That's that's you really can a even boomerang. Slow motion. Yeah, slow motion or yeah. reverse it. I like it. So yeah, and then what sauce should we put on this one? Let's do uh, kimchi. Hmm. I don't know. Let's do the avocado. There you go. Oh, this one has like a nice smooth consistency. Oh yeah. There you go. And maybe throw some herbs on top. So have a selection of like chives and parsley and cilantro that you can throw on top and garnish. Let's do 
do some cilantro and pop a cognac eggs. There you go. I love so just completely adding. customizable. I just feel like adding a garnish on the top, it, it gives you the flavor, but more right. than that, it's just visually right. so beautiful and appetizing. And I think that it adds a little bit more of it just impresses right. people a little bit more you eat with your eyes first yes, really. like so my boyfriend says that you eat with your eyes <laughs> if it doesn't look good why would you want to eat it so that's your first egg the arzac egg and look i actually think the runny yolk has made that pop a bit more boom <laughs> those are lovely so next egg next up <sighs> sous vide gom eggs if you've never heard of sous vide <laughs> it's a french technique that means under vacuum. So basically, it's an immersion circulator. I know it's a trendy thing right now. I've never personally used one. It feels a little intimidating Yeah. Um, for just like the average at home cook. But it makes, okay, first of all, I overcook chicken all the time. This is the only way I can cook a chicken breast correctly. Secondly, sous vide eggs are kind of like my favorite thing ever. Let's, okay, so I really want to try this. So sous vide and keeps the water bath at a constant temperature so you basically can't overcook. And I've heard that some even have apps. Yeah. Where you can have it on your phone. Yeah. So if you really just want to not be paying attention to it, you can walk away. It's like that old life. school, like, set it and forget it. Yeah. Yeah. So, sous vide egg. I'm going to let you pop, crack that one open. Oh, God. Let's see how this goes. So what you're going to see is the yol the whites are semi-set. So, but we don't, you could throw that in the bowl. We don't want any of the whites. Yeah, take all Oh, out. we don't want any whites? No, we're just going to have the yolk. This consistency is so interesting. Yeah, so just dump that out in your hand. Yep. Throw the, yep. Oh, <laughs> oh. there you go. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. See how the yolk is like. The yolk is completely solid. Well, it'll, it'll be runny. So this was cooked at 66, 64 degrees Celsius. And then is that like, is it okay that it has a little bit of white on yeah, there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You're not going to see that because now we're going to dredge it and fry it. So you get like a little deep fried yolk action. So when you sous vide it, it's kind of got this like funky, fudgy, yet still runny consistency, but they're pretty sturdy. It's not like you're going to break the yolk, which is. Yeah, I thought I was going to break it, but it, it, you can't. No, it's an interesting texture. It's, yeah. It's fudgy. So. Let me not dip my <laughs> romper. Unless you want to fry your romper. Rompers oh are trending. Yeah, Men romp are wearing him. rompers now. Romp him. <laughs> romp him. I can't. It's three much, really. <laughs> so, flour, just a little toss to help that panko stick. I love panko. Me too. It's like the best breadcrumb. Yeah. It's my favorite breadcrumb, really. So, flour, seasoned flour, with whatever you want to season it with. Um, I default to Lowry's. <laughs> Or Tony Shashri's, that's like my go-to season. I think those are staples for a lot of people. Yeah. Those are kind of ones. Seasonal. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're done with that. You throw that back there. All right. So now on the eggs, I'm going to switch hands. I mean, you still have to be kind of gentle with them. Like, don't go crazy. Yeah. I tend to not fry anything at my house just because I'm nervous that I'm going to mess it up or that yeah. grease will pop. I have memories of being a kid and just hearing someone scream in the kitchen because like something popped and hit their skin right so I tend yeah. to not do it at all so I'm excited to have it and this isn't like a right deep now. fry this is just like a really quick shallow fry so like 30 seconds the yolk is already the consistency we want it to be we're really just trying to get like a nice little crunchy consistency on the outside this is gonna look good so oh good I'm well, sorry. so I'm happy that you guys are getting an appetite because this weekend when you guys try these recipes, you have to be sure to tag all recipes and use the hashtags brunchworthy and friends with Benedicts because we really want to see how you're able to slay your weekend brunch with your friends. And I almost forgot we should have had a mimosa. Please make me a already. mimosa. So I'm going to, I'm your assistant. Like what's a brunch without a mimosa? Really? It's really not brunch. <laughs> it's breakfast. <laughs> so hot oil. It's just going to be a really, really quick fry. We're just going to brown the outside of the yolks. Mark says he's sitting at his desk just around the corner getting hungrier and hungrier. Come on over, Mark. <laughs> we Mark is plenty. actually an amazing cook. You can definitely be one of our friends with Benedict. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Mark 
kind of mimosa is that? Yeah. So juice. we're going to just have like a regular mimosa with orange juice. Nice. Um, my go-to, I think, for weekends are usually Bloody Marys. Ooh. I just feel like similar to how we're doing this, you can also have a Bloody Mary bar Ooh. and you have your bases and then similar bacon. Um, you can have, have asparagus. I've had seafood ones. I was just in New York and had an amazing one with bacon and Ooh. a lobster claw. So the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, that sounds delicious. And then also you have one drink, you have one base um, spirit that you're using, right. and then you can let your friends dress it up however they want. So that's it. The fry is done. Um, we need to toast to this perfection that you to just are pulling out. Uh, a toast to Sue Vita Gomez. Let's, okay, we need to raise a glass to her. Hold on. Let me get these jokes out first. <laughs> <laughs> this is making me actually want to take some cheese and do like a fried cheese Ooh. curd. Ooh. Oh, Let's imagine if we rolled next. it in bacon. Wrap the cheese curd in bacon? We'll like put bacon bits in there and then fry it with the panko. I need you to stop. You ready? <laughs> cheers. Okay. Cheers. Friends, friends, with friends with Benedicts. And cheersing to you guys too. That's delicious. Real good. So, sous vide go mags. This, is be, this could be a good option for your vegetarian friends. Okay. Let's grab a plate. Here so it says, don't take the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then Maxine says the puns are everything. Thanks, Maxine. We're hoping that these puns are iconic, honestly. Truly. Truly. Iconic. Um, iconic. Uh, so Suvita Gomez. Suvita Gomez. The base for this, instead of this is actually good for your gluten free friends too. Um, we can do a portobello mushroom as the base. So yeah, bring that on over. Yeah. All well, we did is so take uh, portobello mushroom caps and roast them for 25 for 20 minutes with uh, just olive oil, salt, and pepper. So when you prep them, you just take, do you smush them down? No, when, when they roast, they release a lot of water and they ah. get smaller. But this is a great little base for a Benedict. So let's throw a couple of those down. I never would have thought to do that. And then maybe some veggies. So maybe we could do some asparagus. Yeah. We'll and maybe around. some fresh spinach or something. Yeah. So true. this is just roasted asparagus that I <laughs> actually roasted with uh, bacon fat because... Because why Because not? I made a whole bunch <laughs> of bacon and then there was just a pan of bacon grease. So what am I supposed to do, like not use it? Because it's Friday and life is short and yeah. you should always have bacon. And bacon grease. Tomato would be nice on here too. Oh yeah, let's throw a tomato on there and then we'll throw some fresh spinach on top. So, oh, my mama's out there. Like right here? Yeah, perf. That's pretty. And maybe some fresh spinach. Like, really, the add ons are endless. Any kind of fresh vegetables, sauteed vegetables, grilled vegetables are great. Um, we have fresh spinach, sauteed spinach, bacon, uh, kimchi Kardashian. Yes. I forgot <laughs> to tell you about. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be our vegetarian option. So, we'll just throw a couple of. Well, ovo vegetarian. I don't want to get called out. What is ovo vegetarian? Egg. Oh. Vegetarians, I need eggs. Okay. There's so many names. I know. It's hard to keep up sometimes. I know. So let's do the chipotle hollandaise on CBS. Where did we put that She's one? right there. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Boom. This looks so good. But I think in my mind, I'm imagining that it's like fried cheese right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And then I want you to like cut into this so you can see the consistency of the yeah. yolk. There you go. Let's Dig see in. How this is. Oh, see how the yolk right is like. There. Oh. It's like. It's solid. I don't know if this is gonna show on camera, but it's like fudgy. Yeah, it's like a nice consistency. Um, it's not it's really runny. Right. But so if like a raw yolk isn't your steez, but yeah. you like the idea of a runny yolk. The sous vide yolk, deep fried, is kind of. I think this would be perfect for people who maybe want to baby step into trying a runny yolk, and you like yeah. a little bit more. Um, it's like a, the California more. roll of. Yes, this is the <laughs> California roll, you guys. This is a really good entry level. Right. Taking one step closer. One step closer to the runny yolk. Can we can we eat some of this? Please eat some of that. Let me try because I've never. Yeah. I have some too. I love a runny yolk. So. Eggs are life. I love eggs anyway. Mm -hmm. I think eggs would be one of my favorite foods. But yeah. having the panko on there just took this to the next level. So definitely try it. 
And what I like about this is a lot of these ingredients you can use for multiple mm -hmm. things, not just for breakfast. So you don't have to feel like you're breaking the bank right. trying to like do all of, have like this beautiful spread. A lot of this stuff you can use for other meals too. Right. So our last egg, let me grab it. It's almost like I'm eating nuggets or something with the panko mm -hmm. on there. I like it. So our last egg is uh, for Taylor Swiss. You can't even have a Savita <laughs> go Megs without, without a Taylor, Taylor Swiss. Swiss. And also a bacon cup cumber hatch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So basically all you do is take some strips of bacon, fry them just so the fat begins to render, but you're not going to cook them all the way. Then you line a muffin cup, crack an egg in, throw some seasonings in, and bake it for about 12 minutes. And you have a bacon egg cups. That looks so beautiful. Super easy. Again, something you can prep ahead of time. You don't you can prep the bacon and the eggs, put them in the fridge, and then when your guests come, just pop that in the oven. And this actually looks like something that would be fun for kids if mm -hmm. you're a parent having to make breakfast on the weekend for yeah, your family. I think if I was a kid, I think this would be fun with some maybe like little um, silver dollar pancakes oh, or cute. like little mini waffles or something. Because I think kids would have fun with this. I like it. I would, uh, you could throw them back in the oven, but I would really just. Uh, Throw them in the oven like 15 minutes before you're ready to eat. That would be the easiest way to make sure you have like a hot fresh egg, but you can prep the eggs ahead of time so then you could just throw them in the oven. That's how I would do it. Really everything could be prepped ahead of time except the eggs because you kind of want the eggs to be fresh, but the eggs cook so fast that it's not yeah. like you're stuck in the kitchen all day. Um, so Taylor Swiss, we have some English muffins that have tomato, a slice of tomato and a slice of Swiss cheese on top and we just threw it under the broiler. That's what I was gonna ask. I love burnty cheese yeah. and crunchy cheese. I, so. Yeah, I do too. I know everyone doesn't like it. I also like my popcorn a little burnt too. You love it. I like burnty things. It's good just not in the office when you yeah. go back to your desk and everyone's like, oh, who burnt that? Don't be it's that like, guy. Don't, don't be that girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't be burnt popcorn girl <laughs> or a microwave salmon guy. We have a few offenses. <laughs> it's okay guys. <laughs> So, let's Taylor see. Swiss. Uh, let's uh, hand me that spinach over there. Let's throw Fresh some, or? The, the sauteed spinach. Got it. Thank you. And then uh, this will be a bacon cup cumber hatch. So you want to throw some bacon down on there or whatever else you want. And I felt bad that I didn't get that one at first because <laughs> I knew who the actor was by face, but I didn't know his name. <laughs> I, my favorite Reddit article of all time is, what is your favorite Benedict Cumberbatch name? And the variations that people come up with are insane, like Burlington Coat Factory. I know, they're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So, I'm just going to top this with a couple of the bacon cups. And there's our Taylor Swiss. What song? That's really pretty. I'm going to go avocado on that one. So far, do you guys have a favorite? Can you let us know in the comments um, whether one looks the best to you, one you want to try this weekend, or you have a favorite pun, one of your favorite names? I think that the Kanye eggs and ham is my favorite so far. Ah. I'm from Chicago. I love Kanye. What's your favorite Kanye song? Oh, gosh. Oh, I know. A um, possible question. I would say The Life of Pablo, the entire album is, I mean, his he's classic, let's right. just be honest, so, you know. But this last album just gets me up. Ultra it's light very, beam is it's like very spiritual. Yeah. It's my vibes aligned when yeah. I wake up in the morning. What size, what kind of sauce you want on that one? Um, on, the, on the bacon cup cumber hatch. You can really go anyway. I think I'm going to go for the chipotle. chipotle. Smart. Mainly not for taste, but for um, color. color. Thank you for assisting. No problem. She was a little thick. Again, this may be a two person job, yeah. but this is what's friends with Benedict's if you're doing it by yourself. Really? <laughs> the whole purpose. It's friends. like Ikea furniture when it has the two person with the <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> like, don't attempt this alone. Don't. And there you go. So, what do we have? Ooh, let me add a little. Oh, garnish. I know how you love garnish. A garnish. So, yeah, there you go. Baby Cup Cumber Hatch, <laughs> Taylor Swiss, Suvita Gomez. This Where is an go? Instagram worthy brunch spread right now, you guys. So make sure 
that whenever you're tagging your pictures, use Brunchworthy, tag all recipes, because these are so beautiful. And if you try any of these, tag me too, because I want to see what you did. Yeah. And don't be intimidated. Like, I know it's a lot of food and it seems like a lot of work, but really it's, the site has all the instructions you need to be able to prep ahead of time and all the recipes and every it's so easy to make variations. We didn't even show any of the potatoes. Like oh, the kimchi car hash. That's yeah. the hash in Kardashian. Yeah. So Maggie says you guys deliver. Uh, yes, Maggie, we deliver to your desk. <laughs> 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 this is over. <laughs> Jenny says yas. Yas, queen. Yas, Jenny, we'll deliver to you too. Mel says hey boo hey. Hey boo. And then Olivia wants Sauces. Yeah. So the first sauce we made was the avocado hollandaise. Yes. Folandaise. Hollandaise adjacent. Hollandaise is easy cousin. Uh, avocado, lemon juice, hot water. Um, I think we forgot to add in olive oil, but you could add in a little bit of olive oil. Um, salt and pepper. And really just adjust it so it tastes good. As long as it tastes good to you, the recipe's not wrong. Like, it's add okay salt. It's okay to season to taste. I am a salty person. I carry salt in my purse. Literally, mulled on sea salt in my purse. And I love red pepper flakes, which sometimes cooking with them can definitely make people walk by and cough a little bit. It can okay. be a little bit much, but I love a spice, so I think you can go wild with it. You could yeah. also maybe make a few different versions if you have friends who love it really spicy, mm -hmm. but you have friends who just do not. They want level zero spice. Right. <laughs> um, maybe you stick with one of the sauces and then you just make it, you know, you flavor it three different ways. Exactly. Yeah. So that was the first sauce we made. Second sauce we made was the mascarpone hollandaise, uh, mascarpone cheese, lemon juice, a couple of egg yolks, um, some water just to thin it down for consistency. Then we took half of that mascarpone and added a chipotle pepper that you can buy in cans in your grocery store. It's just a jalapeno and adobo sauce. Added one of those to the mascarpone and made a whole different sauce, and that's the chipotle uh, hollandaise. And then we use the hand mixer yes. as well as the Nutribullet. Or you could use a blender, a food processor, anything that whips and whizzes and purees. If you had like a hot sauce, could you do that? Oh yeah. Yeah, like a trapeze or a crystal hot sauce to the mascarpone. Like you could literally add anything. You could add basil and make a uh, basil mascarpone sauce. You could add pesto. You could add I don't know. You could, there's so many combinations. Literally anything. It's just that you know that you can not feel intimidated and you can try it and you don't have to just right. use that little sad packet of sauce in the grocery store. Um, I won't judge you if you do use No judgment because, I mean, I was going to do that. I, this is my first time making yeah. it. But, you guys, it's so easy and people say that, but you're watching it live right. and watching us make it. And she made it. And these are my recipes. So If I can make it. <laughs> can I'm make not it. saying. No, I'm just no saying. seriously, though. Seriously. I <laughs> like I love brunch. It's brunch is bae. But I've always been intimidated to try to make a Benedict at home, and I know that I'm not alone in that. Yeah. You think between the poached egg and the hollandaise sauce, it's enough for people to say no nah. <laughs> or nah. nah. <laughs> um, but this is nice to have all these options. Yeah, so the Arzac good. egg for people that are scared of the poaching, the bacon cup egg for people that just want to throw it in the oven and not really have to futz with anything, yeah. and the sous vide Gomez for if you want to like up your brunch game and really impress some people with a fancy egg yolk. So you have options. Lots of friends with Benedict's yeah. DIY Benedict bar brunch worthy options. Is there any <laughs> other way that you can make the Arzac egg? Or do you have to have the saran wrap? Yeah, you have to use saran wrap. That's, okay. um, I can't think of any Could other you way. like bootleg do it with like a Ziploc bag maybe? Because I never I think I don't would have just saran wrap at home. <laughs> I have saran wrap. I don't know why people. I have like I don't you, know who you has saran wrap. No, I have Ziploc bags. Just Ziploc and bags. foil. Okay. So that's why I'm thinking like, okay, could I use a Ziploc? If you think about it, it's kind of the same thing. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get some plastic wrap. It's like 99 cents. <laughs> I'm thinking of how to MacGyver this situation. Right. You if could you really use a Ziploc bag, but that's gonna be a really funky shape. True. Because that's it's gonna true. be like the egg in the corner of the Ziploc bag, so you might get like a triangle true. of funky eggness. Okay. I may uh, try that this weekend and, yeah. and tag it. I'm for gonna you guys get you some see. plastic wrap. Oh, thank you. Maggie yeah. says I want to Netflix and chill with these Benedicts. Oh. <laughs> that is very sweet. You can Netflix and chill with this. Um, I think breakfast or brunch for dinner is amazing. Oh, DIY brunch bar for dinner, yes. 
Yeah. I love I, breakfast for dinner. I love breakfast for dinner. When I was in high school, I went through a phase where I only ate cereal for like a month <laughs> for dinner, and it was bomb, but yeah. this is actually upgraded and even better. A little bit. A little bit of an upgrade. It's just a little bit of an upgrade. A lot of it. What are they saying? Brittany says she wants to try and make it Creole sauce, and I don't know how to say this, so like a remoulade. 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 That would be delicious on any of these Benedicts. Yeah. Fresh oh, herbs good. are literally can transform any of these sauces. Even with the chipotle, you can switch the lemons up to lime, add a little bit of lime zest, throw some cilantro in there while you're blending it. Like, just have fun and don't be scared to cook. Are there different cheeses we could use if you don't have access to the uh, mascarpone? If you don't have mascarpone, you could use cream cheese. It might be a little bit thicker, so you might have to thin it down with a little bit of hot water. Yeah. But yeah, you could switch up the cheese. Flavored too. cream cheese would work. Yeah, ooh, oh. flavored cream cheese. Yeah. Oh, Borson might be nice. I don't know what that is. It's like that garlicky, herby cream cheese. Ooh, that would maybe be good. I like the garden vegetable. Oh, and yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. I was in New York and they had an Oreo cream cheese, <gasps> which may be too rich and indulgent. But maybe if you're making more of like a dessert. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't use an Oreo cream <laughs> cheese for a hollandaise, personally. <laughs> what else are they saying? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh. You guys your own okay. You, you guys, thumbs this video, thumbs it up and share it. And more importantly, we really want to keep the conversation going. So we want to see what you're able to do at home. Mm -hmm. That's really the spirit of all recipes is empowering home cooks. And we want you to step outside your comfort zone. Everyone is not a pro like this. Some people. I'm just a home cook too. I just really like food. So, but, <laughs> but it's like aspirational. And then we have a way that you can take it and make it mm -hmm. more achievable in your home and you can test it out and you don't have anyone looking to see if you have some misses. Right. Um, but I'm excited to try this with yeah. my friends or even just have brunch with my dog. <laughs> they want to see, can you do a close up of the dishes? Well, you want me to move them? Can you go, go over them again? Yeah, so where you want me to? Uh, over here we had the, the cogne eggs and ham. So that was a biscuit. Uh, this oven is still on. <laughs> okay, there we go. On fire. <laughs> uh, and this is, we use the Arzac egg on top. You can see one that kind of fell over there. And then here's the Taylor Swiss that we did with the uh, uh, muffin, English muffin, tomato, a little bit of Swiss cheese, and just broiled that until it got like nice and toasty and burnty. Uh, top that with some spinach and the bacon cup, uh, Bacon and egg cup with a little bit of scallion and avocado hollandaise. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> That's <laughs> like saying a lot. all that, I just realized it's a lot of stuff on there. Uh, the sous vide go mags. We used a uh, portobello mushroom as the base, which is a great option for your vegetarian friends. Also, um, slices of sweet potatoes, like round slices of roasted sweet potatoes, is another great option for a base. That would be a nice option. Yeah, it's a little bit sweeter too, which is nice. Uh, so we just threw some roasted asparagus on there, uh, tomato fresh spinach and then topped it with the eggs and the chipotle hollandaise. Again, any combination really works And here. the panko really made that one. The texture on that yeah. one is phenomenal. It's a nice uh, If you're a person who loves texture, you would really yeah. have fun with the panko on the egg. And this is the bacon cup cumber hatch. Uh, again, English muffin, bacon, bacon in an egg cup. That's like double bacon. That's a good one right there. That's good. And then uh, we topped that one with the chipotle hollandaise. And this is the kimchi Kardashian. Minus the hash. Oh, <laughs> there's the hash. So that was just uh, kimchi, frozen potatoes, sesame oil, butter, cook it till it's hashy. Is that a word? It is a word now. We made it one. Your nails. Oh. Uh, Get into the nail art, you guys. We love our nail art. Um, I, you probably can't see that I have an egg on my nail. Uh, Jenny just printed it out. Because... <laughs> I love eggs, and there's a spatula. Uh, so kimchi karhashian, English muffin, kimchi, arzac egg, avocado hollandaise, garnish. And that, those are our friends with Benedict's. And you can, <laughs> you can switch these up. You, there's, so, there's endless options. Like really, like we said, any fresh vegetables, sauteed vegetables, Brussels sprouts are yeah. great. Um, fresh fruit on the side. Yeah, tons of options. You can find all of these recipes on the dish blog for all recipes, and we are going to have a link added for you guys. And then be sure, whenever you make these recipes this weekend, to tag us using the hashtags brunchworthy and friends with Benedicts. And yeah. Holly, thank you so much. This has been amazing. I had so much fun. 
Um, thank you guys. We're, we're excited that you guys came and joined us, and we are excited to see what you guys cook up this weekend. Have a fun brunch. Yay. I'm hungry. I know. Can we eat now? <laughs>